What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well. So since the beginning of you know, private practice skills, I've been preaching the value of having a Google My Business profile for many reasons of which we will go over in this video. But just recently, as of 2022, Google My Business changed names to Google Business Profile, <laughs> which uh, for a moment I had a mini freak out because I have an entire training built on how to develop your Google My Business page and I thought I was going to have to throw it out and start over. But as it turns out, after doing a whole bunch of research and retaking my own training just to double check, it turns out that Google Business Profile and Google My Business are exactly the same pretty much with just a different name. But I thought this made for a good opportunity to sort of bump this task to the top of your inbox in case you never created your Google My Business page or you haven't created a Google Business profile. Try to say that 10 times fast. Oh, it's a tongue twister. And if you've been following along with my journey, then you know that I recently made a move from San Jose, California to San Diego, California, and it's time for me to kind of boot up my Google business profile page for my practice here in San Diego. So in this video, I'm gonna share some of the advantages of having a Google business profile page and also take you step-by-step step as I go ahead and set mine up for my actual practice here in San Diego. If we haven't met yet, welcome to Private Practice Skills. I'm Dr. Marie Fang. I'm a licensed psychologist in private practice, and I share these videos to teach you the tools I wish I had when I first started in private practice so you don't have to learn them the hard way like I did. Now, this particular tool, Google Business Profile, is not a tricky tool at all. It's just one that's super easy and underutilized by therapists in a major way. And I think the reason why therapists don't utilize the Google Business Profile page, formerly known as Google My Business, is because we just don't realize how advantageous it is to have one, or maybe we just don't even know that it exists. So let's go over some advantages of the Google business profile. One, it's totally free. So, you know, there's not a whole lot to lose by setting it up. And along those same lines, it is really easy to set up. And a third massive advantage to having a Google business profile is it really helps your practice show up at the top of search results. It can help your practice show up in the maps three pack, which shows up at the top of search results before even things like psychology today. So you can be right there when somebody is looking for a therapist, just like you in your area. And also just by filling out your Google business profile page, filling in as many details as you can on that page and walking away from it gives your actual website a massive local SEO boost. I have an entire video series all about how to build SEO and I also have a video specifically about local SEO. So I've linked to those videos below if you wanna kind of, you know, fill your brain with all of that knowledge. But in summary, for today's purposes, a Google business profile page is free, easy to set up, and it will help clients find you. So you really don't have that much to lose here. Before I hit record for this video, I went ahead and completed the entire workbook affiliated with the training that I created for developing your Google business profile. And so some parts of my Google business profile are just gonna be plugging in, copying and pasting things from the workbook into the profile. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you how to get kind of a baseline profile all set up. And even if you do nothing else beyond what I tell you in this video, it's gonna benefit you. And of course, if you wanna take your profile to the next level, I have a training that helps you do that and it's linked below as well. For now, let's get into setting up my Google business profile. Now the link to get to Google Business Profile is the same as for Google My Business, it's business.google.com. So let's hop over there. Once you're logged into the correct Gmail account, then you have the opportunity to type in your business name. I am so new that I assume my business is not gonna show up here. Okay, that's correct. My practice is brand spanking new, at least my name for my practice is. So it's not showing up as an existing business, but if you type in your name and you see your business show up, um, click on that one. Now it's gonna walk me through a few steps to get my kind of skeleton profile set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer these questions. Keep in mind that for the business category, there's a drop-down menu. You have to choose one of their existing categories. This is an important question that a lot of people get stuck on because many folks think that you have to list publicly your physical address in order to have a Google business profile, and that's not true. Now, if I clicked yes on this question, then the address I have listed for my business will be publicly visible for anyone who sees my business show up through Google business profile. But if I click no, it means I can keep my address private. So keep that in mind. That's actually what I'm doing now as I am living my best nomad life. 
Okay, this is a critical step for those of you who also clicked no on the last question. You're gonna see this pop up and you might be offering online therapy across your state or maybe across several states. And it might be really easy to just type in that state, which I can do here. But I suggest you focus more on a specialized local region. And that's because Google My Business is really tailored for local marketing, meaning just the same way where if you were looking for a taco shop and you type in taco shop into a Google search, you wouldn't want it to show you a taco shop that's located say 100 miles away. It's probably gonna show you the nearest taco shop. So if you're more specific in what region you target, you're much more likely to show up in the Google Maps results. A theme you're gonna find throughout this process is if there's any information that you can add into your profile, do it. So you might be tempted here to say, oh, I'm just gonna add my phone number. I'm just gonna add my website. No, if you have both a phone number and a website, put both. Also adding your website URL is really gonna help your local SEO for your website's domain. So it's just, it's a win all around. Okay, in this step, it's gonna invite you to enter your mailing address to verify. The purpose of this address is for Google to send you a postcard in the mail for you to say, yep, I definitely have access to this address. I receive mail here that legitimizes you as a person and not, I don't know, whatever kind of shady stuff might be going on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and skip most of these steps and do it from within the dashboard because I find it easier. So I made, I skipped all those last steps and instead of taking me to a dashboard like it used to for Google My Business, it just takes me to Google search results where it says My Business, which is actually another way that you can access your Google Business listing. And as you can see, here I am, but I haven't filled it out. It's not publicly visible because I haven't verified it yet. So you can make changes here but I find it much easier to go to your Google Business Profile dashboard. So you can just go back to business.google.com to do that. Okay, this confirms what I already suspected. Basically, Google Business Profile is exactly the same as Google My Business, just rather than it defaulting to taking you to your dashboard right here where I am now, it takes you to a Google search where you can edit your profile directly within a Google search. I'm used to using this dashboard, so I think it's a lot cleaner. And then you can make sure you're not missing any details about your profile. So once you've kind of set up the initial skeleton, you go to your info tab, and this is the place where you wanna add absolutely as much information as you possibly can. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in all of the work that I already did from the workbook through my Google My Business training. It all still applies just the same right here and I'll catch up with you once I get that done. And now that we got everything all set up, you can see I've filled out all there is to fill out here. I already added some photos um, and you can tell when you go to the home screen of your dashboard, it's trying to prompt you to verify on any other tab. It will also tell you to verify your page. So once we have it set up, now's a good time to verify. If you don't verify your business, it's not gonna show up. So you definitely need to do the verification. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that you check your mail for that postcard and don't wait too long to enter the pin on the postcard uh, back into your dashboard to verify your profile. And once it's verified, you're all set. You can write posts, you can keep updating your profile, or you can do absolutely nothing and it's still going to benefit you. So if you hadn't heard about Google My Business or now Google Business Profile, now you know, you see how easy it is to set up. If you haven't set yours up, go ahead and do it. And if you want a little boost to make sure you've optimized your Google Business Profile, I have a whole training covering how to do that. So you can check that out linked below as well. And before we close, I'd like to thank therapynotes.com for sponsoring this video. Therapy Notes helps with scheduling, notes, and billing, and they have a HIPAA secure telehealth platform for you to meet with your clients from wherever you might be seeing your clients from. If you'd like to check out Therapy Notes, you can get two months to try it for free with no commitment just by clicking the link in the description of this video. I hope you found this video helpful wherever your practice might be located. If you're aware of any other tips related to setting up your Google business profile, go ahead and leave a comment below because you all offer such helpful comments and I know other folks are reading them and gleaning from your wisdom. And and until next time, from one therapist to another, I wish you well.